Hi everyone, in this video I would like to talk about the most common issues users face while trying to connect to the Citrix environment. Sometimes when users are trying to launch Citrix applications or Citrix virtual desktops, they see this error message. It says something like there was a problem setting up your profile. You have been logged on with a temporary profile, but changes you make during this session will not be saved. Please contact your administrator to resolve the problem. So user basically when trying to launch the application, user launches with a temporary profile. It's not a complete profile. So this is an issue that needs to be checked on the server end. So what we can do is on the server, on one of the Citrix servers, where this profile is getting loaded, you need to go to registry editor, first log into the server and go to registry editor. And then you need to look for this particular key. Okay, so I'll start from the beginning. So you need to go to HKey local machine and then you need to click on software. Once you click on software, you see Microsoft, expand Microsoft and look for a key called Windows NT. So I just uh, select W and look for Windows NT. So here you see Windows NT. Once you see Windows NT, you need to look for current version. So I see current version here. So once you click on current version, you need to look for profile list. Okay, just scroll down. Just scroll down and you should see profile list. Okay, so this is the profile list. Just expand it. Once you expand it, you see a lot of keys here. So the problematic, uh, you know, the I mean, the user who is facing this problem should have uh, something like dot b a k next to this s i d is basically okay if you see something uh, with dot s i d then what you have to do is you need to remove that particular entry so what you need to do is you need to just right click on that dot b a k file or the registry and you need to just uh, you know uh, remove it yeah you see delete here just click on delete so i will not be deleting it here but you will be seeing a dot bak file and you need to click yes once you remove that uh, ask user to log off from citrix and try to connect to citrix once again once the user tries to connect to the citrix again he will be launching the application without seeing the temporary profile so that should probably take care of this problem all right i hope you find this information helpful if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you